what Mike is doing today is he's taking small grains of rock which have bugs in and then putting them into a missile, a carrier which will be launched in the gun, and the grains of rock carry on and hit the target. The bug is sitting in a rock. It lives in the rock and is quite happy there as bugs go. But in our case, that bug is suddenly going to be accelerated. At the University of Kent, they're trying to replicate what happens to the bugs when they crash into Earth on the back of a meteorite. For this, they need a very big gun and some very small bugs. Oh, and a belief in panspermia. So what will happen next is we fire the gun and we want to reach a speed of five kilometers a second. That's about 10 to 15,000 miles per hour. So it's gonna be fast. The target is water with a rock behind it. So it's like hitting an ocean, where first you have the water and then there's an ocean floor beneath it. They will hit the water as if they've come from space at these 10, 20,000 miles per hour. And the bugs will be very heavily shocked. And this would normally kill most things. The only question is, will it survive? And if it does, it will just be happy again, growing in its new home. The firing of the gun happens in a vacuum to maximize the speed. The bugs are now on a 15,000 mile per hour roller coaster. And remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Have any of the bugs survived? And I'm afraid nothing's hit the target. The rock has come off slightly off axis, and instead of going through the hole here, has hit the container up here. So our target's still intact, and our bugs have hit solid metal and that's a lot harder than water when you hit it at high speed. And so they've probably been crushed and almost certainly all are dead. So, hey-ho, it's a bug's life. But other experiments by Mark have confirmed that bugs can survive. These are some of the lucky ones. The casualty rate is very high, but this is not a problem. What would happen is if you went into the garden and dug up one gram of soil, one little small cubic centimetre, perhaps, of soil, you'd find 10 or 100 million bugs in there. If we could fire that, a rock that size in our gun, with that number of bugs in, we would find about 10 or 100 of them survive our experiments. So the survival rate is very, very low. But you only need 10 or 100, and they just multiply it. <laughs> 